back with another hotel review i'm loving this one this is in alabama mobile alabama and this is the battle house renaissance mobile hotel and spa when you walk in you see this beautiful massive room with so much beautiful decoration this is actually a marriott bonvoy club hotel and the average price for this is around 220 230 dollars so it's pretty good price we got a two bed room or maybe it was a suite i'm not really sure let me show you the room before i talk a little bit about the, the other prices so there were plenty of seating areas two bedrooms there was even a connecting door so i think it, this is a very basic bed when you go look at the pictures there are some bed there's some rooms that have nicer bed frames but i love that they have both kinds of usb by the bed i don't need these let me put it over here let's see the bed so the mattress is medium firmness very very clean and the pillows are very soft i'm loving it very fluffy so I think it's pretty good quality. Let's see if there's any view. No view. I'm pretty sure if we were on the other side, we could see on the street. Nice big TV, although there were no water. Like, I think they should at least have water. You know, complimentary water. Um, there is a coffee maker. There's coffee and tea, but there's no water. Mm. But anyways, uh, I never really use the coffee here, but I, I am loving the tea selection. This brand is really, really good. Let's see what else we have in here. Nothing in here. Nothing. Over here we have a mini fridge if you want to put some of your stuff in there. Nice. Okay, so here we have a study desk, work desk if you need to. I feel like nobody really uses these but it's good to just have a nice big mirror that's me and also has some usb plugins on the lamp a book if you want to read something i also bought both my cat and dog here is the connecting room which is i made sure it's locked another mirror and yeah i brought my cat with me a big bathroom very very large very spacious that's what one of the things i love about this room is it's so spacious there is a mouthwash and this is so cute because it has everything you need except the toothbrush there are makeup wipes there are uh, cotton balls a pack of toothpaste in case you forgot your toothpaste cotton balls and even q-tips it's just like a, the little things that they remember it's such a nice thing to have because not a lot of hotels have all of those things safe is in here there are no ropes but um if you need to hang something you can hang it up here okay let's go in here the toilet and the bath tub and shower is separated separated from the vanity toilet it was very very clean and there's also an extra toilet paper underneath the sink the shower is pretty good size not very big so i think if you're on a plus size it will be definitely hard to fit in here it was a little bit small but it is a very very old building over 100 years old a large size tub although i don't know a lot of people who take bubble baths in a hotel very clean on the hall and walking downstairs outside of the hotel i felt very safe at night here are the the floors and what's on them if you are a bonvoy member you can go into their exclusive club but before going to bed i went downstairs to the bar there's also restaurants downstairs and the ballroom but those were closed or you need to, needed um, the reservation for dinner i was not hungry i just went to the bar to grab a quick drink the bar is filled with everything you would need even the good stuff and there was also a live singer i think the cocktail prices are pretty pretty good not overpriced it's i think it's just just uh i, I thought it was, it was a little bit cheaper i thought it would be like 20 maybe 22 dollars so i think for like 14 dollars for cocktail that was pretty 
good price. A very cute little cocktail room. There's also board games if you need it. So this hotel was actually named the best historic hotel in United States by the historic hotel hotels of America and it was built in 1852 they even have an old school typewriter which I love so much I tested it out I've never used it before I thought it was so cute now I want one for myself it has 238 rooms and 31 special suites the parking so there's valley parking not south, but valley parking. If you need to get something from your car, one of the valley guys can walk you to your car. Uh, They also have a rooftop hangout area, but it was um, closed down some parts for renovation. And they also have a little fire pit up here, which I thought it was really cute. It was closed down right now, but I thought it was really cute. I was trying to find the pool and the gym, but I got a little lost. Um, there's also a glass bridge connecting, which I, I was, I was just lost. I could not find it, but I did find this beautiful national bank building. So the Valley parking on hotels.com, it says $24, but on their website, it says 28. I honestly don't remember how much it was for pets. It's up to two pets per room and it's $50. Um, and it is rated superb on hotels.com. Everywhere you look, there's details to see. So humid. I just walked out. It's so humid. My glasses fogged up. There's a coffee shop just a block away. So it's very convenient, but they also had coffee in the lobby. But I personally like to go and explore coffee shops in the city I'm in. So overall, for me, it was a very good experience. Outside, there's also a little green fake grass area where you can wait. They bring your car.